first through a ten. Hi, my name is Junior. I'm from Brazil, and I play for Sima Gold. Uh, two years ago, I had the opportunity to play at one of the biggest soccer clubs in my country, Sport Club International. As soccer is my favorite sport, I was very happy and excited for the moment I had. For the trial, I've been asked for document and medical records. When I did a heart exam, I was diagnosed with a heart problem and the doctor decided that I shouldn't be allowed to go to the trial anymore. So it would change the path of my life. The moment I received the news, I was in shock. But the question, what am I going to do in my life got stuck in my head because soccer is a passion for me and I couldn't live without it. I always tried to find a way to escape this bad situation but never succeeded. My biggest fear was surgery, and I hadn't never been through it. The road was not changed, but I had to take a different on the path of pushing my dream. For six months, I underwent several exams and tests. Then the results came out, and I had a cardiac arrhythmia and would need to undergo a surgical process. During the six months, I've learned a lot of lessons to bring to life. One of them was never stop trying until you get the chance to make your dream to come true. I hated every minute of the exams because I wanted to keep chasing my dream no matter what happened. And I said to myself, don't give up. It's just a stop to appeal. I've met many people and made some friends along the way but I lost friends from school as I missed days of school. One of the friends I met was a doctor and this doctor decided to help me with everything I need and gave me all the support. She provided me, me she, she provided help with either exams or tests that I needed to do. So I was able to do the surgery, which I wouldn't be able to afford. A few weeks after the surgery, I was back on the field and doing what I like most, being able to play soccer with, without worrying about anything. One month later, a soccer coach from Montverde Academy went to Brazil and saw me playing at this day. I was performing very good and everything on the field went really well. After the game, my, great, my guardian came to me and said, do you want to go to the United States to study and play soccer? And I said yes with a big smile because I knew it was on one of the greatest, greatest opportunity in my life. I knew it could, I knew I could play soccer and have a degree because if soccer didn't end well, I would have something else to do. I've been away from my family from, for six years. Going to another country would be, wouldn't be something huge. It's just a chase for my dream. And here I am still working for my dream to come true. No matter what happened or how long I have to stay away from my family and friends, I still be working hard for my dream. I would like to thank my guardian Wilson, Miss Nadja, the doctor, and my parents for all the support. To Coach Mike, thank you so much for everything you have done for me. I wouldn't get anywhere without your help.